Hi everyone, it's good to see all of you again and today we're going to cook a new fish and I'm quite excited about this. So, shall we go ahead and check it out now? The fish that we are featuring today is what we call a red tau fish. It is also known as a horsehead tau fish. In Japan, this fish is known as amadai and is highly prized. This fish can be caught between 80 to 200 meters deep. The body is pinkish red in color, overlain by the, um, some golden yellow uh, tint, as well as that on, on the tail itself, you can see some uh, yellow uh, poaches. The fish itself has rather big eyes and then the head is quite down. Um, that is why maybe it got its name as a horse head tarfish. Um, I would say it's a very pretty fish, except like it does look like a very unhappy fish if you notice the mouth. So let's clean up the fish and prepare the fish for today's cooking. First, let us descale the fish. First, we will take off the head. Now we will fillet the fish. We will use one of the fillet for today's cooking and the rest I will use it to make other dishes in the near future. So nothing is gone to waste. Now you will check for bones. I think there is, I can feel some bones in the middle. So let's take them off. Okay, now I will use this particular piece to make a dish, but it's a quite a long piece. So I'm going to shorten it.
I'm going to just season the fish with some salt on both sides. Alright, and we will leave for about uh, 5 minutes while we prepare the rest of the ingredients. The rest of the ingredients is very simple. Uh, first, I got some clams from the wet market and um, I soak them for a while in um, salt water. So, I, so after that, you just need to clean them up and leave them aside. These are asparagus. I'm using the top section because I'm going to steam the fish with the asparagus. So the top section is a lot thinner, so it's easier for us to steam. Next ingredient is the holy baser. You just need a, about maybe five to seven pieces will do. It will give a very nice smell to the dish. All right, so let's prepare the fish for steaming. First, I will put the asparagus at the bottom of the plate. Next, I will put our fish meat above them. Then I'll put the clams around them. Lastly, just put the basil around the plate. Once the water is boiling, you can see steam coming up. And then now is the time where we can steam this dish and we're going to cook this for roughly about uh, 7 to 8 minutes. Okay, now I think it's ready. It's 7 minutes already. So I'm going to open and look at our fish. Okay, wow, I see almost all the clams are opened and the flesh of the fish is looking white. So it's ready. Going to off the heat and let's plate and enjoy the dish. All right, let's try the fish first. Ho 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 ho. This is my first time eating this tau fish steam. I have eaten in Japan where they deep fried with the um, skills on. Let's try. Oh man, oh this is so good, it's so so tender, how easy, you can see the, the flesh is very tender and easily flick off but it's not mushy, good texture, oh nice, very good. I have not put any sort of seasoning except salt and the natural sweetness coming from the clam and of course uh, from the asparagus. Oh, very nutty flavor. Mm. And it has nice smell coming from the um, baser. And how about the clam? Mm. Always good. Clam from Taiwan is always good. Mm. But the highlight for me is really the fish. I never know such a simple way of steaming it can come out with such good results. Mm. This is so good. Really enjoy this dish. Wow, I'm very surprised by first the texture of the tau fish when steamed. This is my first time trying this fish steam style and I must say it is very, very good. Secondly, this is a very, very simple way of steaming. It's also my first time trying this and I'm very happy about this. So I hope you give this recipe a try and I will see you soon.